The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. Can I start then? Yeah. I have broken a rib, so I will not be working on projects this week. I am getting my beautiful assistant to do that. Uh, and we're going to make a Veritas small wooden spoke shaver. It's a kit from them. It includes all the hardware, so brass, screws, and bolts, and wear plate, as well as the blade. Uh, the footage you just saw was Nat preparing the blank. We're going to try some red gum. Uh, and it should be an interesting project. Nat's starting by marking the center point of the blank and transferring that around. Then to make it easier, marking the various faces. Veritas include a paper template for the shape of the spoke shave. I decided to photocopy it so I could make a full size paper template so it didn't need to be flipped. After that's traced on, we know the various bounds of all the parts. A marking gauge is pretty essential for this project even if it's a crappy Stanley. Most of this project is just following directions. Here she is finding the point for the first post, then using the second post to mark the second location. This falls into a scribed line, and then is hit with a hammer to dent the wood. Much more accurate than measuring. The holes for the posts are drilled out at the drill press, first with a 7 16 inch bread point bit, then with a quarter inch bit. The holes are tapped with the included tap to accept the brass inserts which control the blade height. To make sure they tap square, we drilled a hole in a block of wood to act as a guide block. This is the first time Nat has tapped anything, so she was a little intimidated by this. Next, the blade needed to be marked out so it can be recessed later. This is best done with a sharp marking knife as a pencil would leave a too loose line. After that is marked, more boundaries are known and we can mark for the wear plate. After that was marked, a 3 to 4 degree bevel is added using the block plane. With all of that done, it is now time to cut out the waste, which makes up the escapement for chips. If you're doing more than one of these, cut it at the table saw, but it went by pretty quickly using a Dazuki and chisel for, to clean it up. As we didn't have the exact width chisel to get it all done in one pass, a block of wood backing sandpaper flattened everything. It might be time to get her a uh, plane maker's float. More marking out and line transfers were needed for the brass wear plate. Then for the wear plate to sit flush, another recess needed to be cut. The recess for the spoke shape blade was paired out using a 6mm chisel. Finally, the brass could be cut to length. Veritas include enough for at least one spare, but it's pretty close to two spare. This was cut to a rough length first, then filed to an exact fit later. To get the fit right, two jigs needed to be made up. First was a 45 degree angle and small pocket on a piece of pine, and the second a 10 degree bevel for undercutting to create the dovetail for the brass to slide into.
It's such a small dovetail that Nat had to make all sorts of hilarious concentration faces to get it done. The edge of the brass that is closest to the blade was filed down to a 45 degree point. We just held it in with a jig with some double sided tape. The two sides of the brass needed a 10 degree bevel to slide into the dovetail. Then everything could be fitted together using a business card to properly space the brass. Once that was in place we took it to the drill press and drilled through. Countersinking didn't work so well with this bit, partially because of the 3 to 4 degree angle. Finally, that could be screwed in and everything filed flush. With everything except the web plate removed, it was over to the bandsaw to shape the handles. The curves were smoothed out with files, rasps and sandpaper. Once Nat was happy with the shape, we hit it with a few dozen coats of shellac. Really makes the red gum pop. So we're yet to actually sharpen it, so this is still the factory edge and you can see <laughs> you can actually get some pretty good shavings, some uh, very, very thick shavings. Couldn't get all the way through, but I don't think it would matter how much we sharpened it. That's far too much to be taking off. Uh, overall, it was a pretty fun project. Yeah? Agreed. Yeah. Um, probably would give it three point three and a half out of five stars. Um, some of the wording from Veritas was a bit below par. And a few bits and pieces like these screws had to be drilled in with a bit larger one than what they specified because it just wouldn't go through. Uh, but overall that was fun and we'll probably do some more kit projects and that sort of stuff together because it was good to work as a team. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.